What's up guys? So today we are sharing our last vegan cookout of the summer. <laughs> We're also doing a review of Atlas Monroe ribs, mm. beef, mm. bacon, yes. and chicken strips. <laughs> With the exception of the ribs, these are all Atlas Monroe items that we've never tried before. And even the ribs look different from the first time that we tried them. So if they change the recipe, it'll be a new experience for us as well. Also, we're making vegan chipwiches for dessert. And finally, we'll be sharing our thoughts on some compostable products perfect for an eco-friendly cookout. But first, we want to do a little experiment. If you're watching this video right now and you're excited about this Infinite Life content, or if you're new here and you are excited to see a black vegan family spread good vibes, we need you to do three things. One, hit that like button. Two, comment below three hearts. And three, tell us what like number you were. For example, if you were the fourth person to like the video, put that you were like number four. Let's see how fast the Infinite Family can get this video to 200 comments and 200 likes. Guys, YouTube thrives off the like button, and if you don't hit that like button, the algorithm thinks that you don't think that this video or this channel is worth anyone else finding out about it. But the Infinite Family is so much more powerful than you realize. Now we've been on YouTube for about four years putting out quality content in record time and we always see people saying that they don't understand how we don't have more subscribers. The like button is the key to seeing a channel that you like get to the next level. So did you hit that button yet? Did you leave your three hearts? Did you leave your like number? Mm. Hmm. <laughs> if you did, thank you so much. Big shout out to you because we are excited to see how this experiment turns out. All right, let's get to cooking. Woo, cookout! Cooking up for the cookout! <laughs> I didn't say cookie, I said cookout! <laughs> All right, guys, so I just cracked open the Atlas Monroe beef and. How does it smell? Smells very seasoned. Yes. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and cook this up. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so it is cooking up quite nicely. It smells good. It smells good. I can't wait to put this in our patties. Me. What is it? Oh my god. All right guys, so I stepped outside to check the weather because these past couple of days have been kind of hectic on us, raining, but today, beautiful outside, the sun is shining, it is perfect cookout weather. So let me let you guys know what is on the menu. So we have ribs, chicken strips, hot dogs, curry beef, we got beef patties for appetizers, and then for sides, we got macaroni pie, plantains, and saffron rice. And of course, for dessert, we have chipwiches. So we have Rocky working on the beef patties and the cookies for the chipwiches. And we have Mookie working on the mac and cheese for the macaroni pie. I will be doing the curry beef. And guys, we also have on the plate some bacon ranch chicken sliders. Oh yeah. All right guys, so for the Atlas Monroe bacon, we are going to follow the oven rules, which is 400, two minutes max. We're gonna do a minute at a time because we don't want it to overcook. But yeah, we have it on a parchment paper and it's ready to go. But first, let me show you some nutrition facts, baby. Oh yeah. All right, guys, so fresh out the oven, and oh, this it smells really good. It smells really good, and it's looking really good, too. Smell like the ribs, no? Mm-hmm. Amazing. You excited? Yeah. Guys, the curry beef is ready to go. Mm. 
Look at that. Oh my God. Recipe in the cookbook, y'all. All right, guys. So now I'm going to add the veggies to the yellow rice. And it's going to be like some nice little pretty saffron rice. <laughs> it's officially been 15 days since I planted the seeds and yesterday I had to add more plant food to the arrow garden kit and today I'm adding more water to it. I'm also setting up the second arrow garden kit with fresh new seeds. Let's get into this. So as you guys can see, this is the progression since the last time I showed you the plants. They were baby plants the last time I showed you. Now look at them. They're literally about to reach the top of the ceiling right now. This is the tomato plant right here. This is the lettuce plant. You can see the lettuce plant right there. It's looking like some lettuce right now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You can see the broccoli plant right here. This is the broccoli. It's literally hanging off of the arrow garden. It right is. <laughs> <laughs> it smells good. You smell it? Smells it's delicious. Smells a little bit like a peach. Yeah. And then this is the kale. See the kale right here? The kale's also hanging off. You can see baby celery. Mm -hmm. baby celery. And I also planted a new seed yesterday, cucumber, because the bean seed didn't grow, but now I planted the cucumber, so that should grow in the next 14 days too. That's officially been 16 days. We've planted the seeds and now it needs me to add water. Make sure you add distilled water no matter what. It's the purest water you can put in the garden. And look, before I pour it in, I want you to see the broccoli roots. Oh, look at all the roots. <laughs> wow, look at all those roots. It's the lettuce roots, the broccoli roots. Ooh, and also tomato roots. Wow, the tomato roots are super fun. Look see at the that. the tomato roots, wow. All right, let's add some of that water. All right. Man, these things smell so good. It smells so pure and fresh. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, wow, right. they're so big. They're growing so fast, too. It's only been 15 days, it looks like. Thanks, Mookie. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, plants. And these are the six seeds that we're going to be planting today lettuce, Swiss chard, spinach, bell pepper, cabbage, and zucchini. joins its friends in the full plant family in the arrow <laughs> garden kits. The second arrow garden kit is officially set up. It's now it's gonna say plant food timer 14 days, zero days planted. So it's literally only 15 days apart from the original arrow garden that we planted. Good job, Mookie. In 15 days, this is what they can be. I'm excited. You excited? I'm super excited. I can't wait to start harvesting these plants. Guys, Rocky just got started on dessert, so let me tell you guys the inspiration behind this dessert. So my beautiful wife of 15 fun-filled, spectacular years, Chris, who's actually editing the video right now. So the first part that you guys saw, she's editing that right now. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. But that's how we get these videos out to you guys in record time. Shout out to Chris, man. Big shout out to Chris. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> So Chris went to a fancy boarding school, and if you guys have ever seen Dead Poet Society, that's the actual school that she went to. So for four years, she lived and went to school with kids of some of the wealthiest, bougiest families in the country. Straight bougie. Straight up bad and bougie. <laughs> they had a chef and sit down meals every day. So maybe you guys are starting to see the impact being at a place like that would have on our lives together. But somehow, with all that fanciness, there is one dessert that Chris still raves about. <laughs> <laughs> it's chipwitches, guys. <laughs> chipwitches. 
So when she told me how much she loved chip witches years ago, I was like, does the chef make them from scratch? Like, does he put his foot in it? Like, what do he, what he do? She was like, no, it's the one for the packs. <laughs> but it tastes so good. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> come on. So we're making chip witches for the last cookout of the summer. Chip style. Chip style. Chip 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 a style, chip a style, chip chip. Who wants a chip a chip? Who wants a chip a chip? By the way, comment of the day goes to Latoya Johnson, who said, "I thought only us New Orleans people knew about chip a style. Come on now, if you had BET in the late '90s, early 2000s, you know it. You you better know what chip a style is. Go, chip a chip a chip a style, chip a chip a chip a <laughs> so guys, go ahead and check out this video right here to see exactly why she made that comment. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's go ahead and put together these chip witches. Chip a chai? The chip a chai? Chip a chai. I told you she went to a bougie school now. I told y'all. Chip a chai. <laughs> and guys, this is the same recipe that we used for the Dr. Bronner's video. So guys, make sure you check out that video. Got some hot dogs, some curry beef. Mm. Got some Atlas Monroe bacon, some rice, and we'll show the rest when we get outside. All right, getting the table outside. Catch my table outside. <laughs> Ooh, yes, load her up. <laughs> All of our plates and cups are from World Center. Everything here is recyclable and compostable. This is made from non-GMO corn. And the packaging says if you compost it, it will turn back into soil in three to six months. Three months. You excited to use them? All right, we'll tell you guys what we think of it. I'm let you know just how much I tell your mama. I tell your papa too. I'm gonna let everyone know about my love. So I really hope you love me too. Yeah, I really hope you love me too. I'm gonna tell you. Alright everybody, dig in! Chicken! I want some chicken! Alright guys, I'm about to fix my plate, but I'm gonna take my plate inside so I don't sway anybody's judgment when I taste test this food, y'all. Alright guys, so I got some chicken strips here, I got ribs, we made beef patties with the beef, and also a bacon ranch chicken sandwich. I'm gonna try the chicken sandwich first, see what the bacon talking about. Mmm, mmm, the bacon goes together really well with the chicken and that ranch sauce. Mmm, 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 yes. That's an 8.5 out of 10 for me, absolutely. Mm. All right, so I already know the chicken strips are gonna be busting because I think it's a, the same formula as the regular chicken. This is in chicken strip form, so let's taste it right now. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Guys, mm. Mm. Atlas Moreau's breading is unmatched. I can't think of any other vegan fried chicken out there that is messing with this breading and the seasoning on the vegan chicken. Like, guys, this is unbelievable. This is something that you must try if you haven't already. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Never a bad idea. <laughs> Now guys, if you've seen this video right here, you already know these ribs are bussin', but I'm gonna try it again for y'all. And also, we've tried out their ribs a while back for our last cookout of the summer video. I think the formula is a little different on this one from the last time I did taste it, but let's try it again. Mmm. 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 Must try as well. Oh my God. This 
barbecue sauce, man. I don't know what they put in their barbecue sauce, but that barbecue sauce is fire. It's smoky, a little spicy, it is sweet, but it goes so well with these vegan ribs, man. Mm. It tastes like actual ribs. It tastes like actual ribs that have been well seasoned. Yeah. Mm. It has a nice lightness to it. Mm-hmm. Finger looking good. It is finger looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, Rocky's famous beef pies. From Christmas. From Christmas. If you haven't seen our Vlogmish videos, go oh. check those out. He made some beef pies. These are made with the Atlas Moreau beef. Let's get into it. Mm. Of course, that crust is amazing. Mm, it's good. Biscuit crust. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You put some curry powder in it so it has like a little curry flavor to it. And then you get a good hunk of the meat. Yeah. You get a good hunk. Mm hmm. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> mm hmm. Again, well seasoned. Mm. Tastes very Caribbean too. Well seasoned, Caribbean. It has like a TVP texture to it, but the seasoning is what sets it apart from anything I've ever tasted. And it's definitely something I would recommend. This is an 8.5 out of 10. Absolutely. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, I just put some Atlas Moreau stuff on my plate. I gotta go get the rest of them goodies that you guys saw. I gotta load up my plate because I am starving. We've been cooking all day. It is time to feast. I'm about to go get me a plate. Everybody enjoying their food? I love yeah. this beef patty. You love the beef patty? That's your favorite one? What's that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wesley, what's your favorite? My favorite is the chicken. The chicken? <laughs> Winston, what's your favorite thing? I want both. Just the jagged annies? <laughs> and Karina, what's your favorite thing? The curry beef. The curry beef? That you're about to eat? <laughs> All right. Everybody is chowing down, enjoying themselves outside on this nice hot summer day. Last cookout of the summer. Woo! All right, guys. So this is my big boy plate. Yes, sir. It is a lot of food, but I will definitely eat it all. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, for dessert, I'm going to show you guys how to make chip witches. <laughs> so you want to take two cookies. You want to lay them on your plate upside down like this. Next, you want to take a scoop of ice cream. We're actually using oatly vanilla. So you want to scoop it onto one of the cookies. See, I'll do this one. Ooh, look at that. So it looks like it needs maybe one more scoop. So don't worry if it's wiggling around. You're gonna put the top onto it and squash it down a little bit. Gently. You don't really want to break the cookie. So the point is you want it to be coming out on the sides just a little bit. You can either roll it in the chocolate chip, but what I want to do is take a handful like this and drizzle it over the cookie. That way whatever falls will end up on the sides. So you want to keep adding chocolate chips until all the ice cream is covered. Really pack it on there. Now I'm gonna put them in the freezer. And don't worry if it looks messy, it's gonna be delicious when it's all frozen. All right guys, we are back inside. Just wanna give you guys a quick review of the compostable things that we bought today. Everything was amazing except for these trash bags. Like, I don't even know what is going on. We tried to open them. I don't know if we got a bad batch, but this is a bag. This is the bag that was attempted to, to be open. Look what happens, look what happens. Like, how am I supposed to hold something in these bags when they do this? Nah, that ain't it. <laughs> it's great for composting. It's great for composting. It's gonna break down easily, but it's also gonna break down before you put any trash in it. Yeah, and that's bad. But the spoons, the forks, the knives, the plates, like phenomenal. Definitely like, recommend definitely recommend the plates. The paper towels, yeah, the sturdy. Paper towels, those paper towels are actually just Sprouts brand. Oh, the paper towels are great too. But yeah, we highly recommend the utensils basically. All the utensils, but don't get the garbage bag. But the plates. The plates and the cups. The cups were great too. The cups were awesome. But don't get the garbage bags. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look at my hand. This is just from me holding it for the, the two minutes that I was talking about how bad they were. Look at my hands. Like, 
Come on now. That that ain't gonna do. That ain't gonna do it. All right, so we left the chip witch in the deep freezer for like an hour or two. I would leave it for a little longer, but guys, we gotta wrap up the video. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you guys how this thing tastes. So here we go. Is it solid? Yeah. You holding it upside down? You don't care? I don't care. <laughs> there you mm -hmm. go. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it looks all kinds of crazy, but uh, it definitely, looks delicious too. Definitely better than any store bought chip which I've ever had. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't wait to have mine. Scale from one to ten. A million. A million? <laughs> <laughs> you guys gotta make this. You gotta try it out. It's amazing. Use our chocolate chip cookie recipe. Get some Oatly ice cream mm. and definitely put this together because this is insane, guys. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Chip witch time! <laughs> Guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Make sure that you hit that like button. Make sure that you leave your three hearts down below. And also, tell us what your favorite part of this video was. Until next time, don't forget to drink your almond milk and zip up your coat. See you in the next one.